Right Now Medical Center is located in the heart of Raynell and has provided quality health care to our community for over 45 years. We offer medical, dental, pediatrics, pharmacy, behavioral health therapy, x-ray, mammography, diabetes education, and on-site lab services. We accept most insurance plans and offer a sliding fee scale for qualifying patients. Make us your family's medical home and let us care for you. Raynell Medical Center, excellent health care right at home. Wood Pool Services is now offering layaway just in time for the holidays. 10% down and no interest on any pool, spa, stoves, and necessities. This holiday, make your dream a reality. Wood Pool Services on Stafford Drive next to Roses in Princeton, West Virginia. Western Auto in Raynell is the solution for all of your automotive repair needs. We carry snow blowers, wood splitters, propane heaters, and a full line of Husqvarna saws, bars, and chains. And most importantly, service after the sale. We also carry Whirlpool washers and dryers, freezers, refrigerators, and hot water heaters. We have enjoyed serving our community for 48 years and support our Greenbrier West Cavaliers. At Tri-County Furniture, Flooring, Appliances, and Bedding in Covington, our 44,000 square foot showroom is loaded with Black Friday deals. Now through November the 29th, save on the brand names you know and trust. Not only will you save, but you'll get up to 18 months in special financing on your appliance purchases and up to 36 months on furniture and bedding purchases when you use your Tri-County credit card. See store for details. But remember, limited quantities do apply, and when these items are gone, they're gone. At Tri-County, we'll also give you our best price and then give you additional savings with manufacturer's rebates from Whirlpool, Maytag, Beko, Frigidaire, Electrolux, and Samsung. Save up to an additional $600. See store for details. And as always, at Tri-County, you get free electrical cords on your range and dryer purchases and free hoses on all washer purchases only at Tri-County Furniture, Flooring, Appliances, and Bedding, 131 North Maple Avenue in Covington, Virginia. Or shop online anytime at shoptricountyfurniture.com. Open Monday through Friday, 930 to 530. Saturdays, 930 to 3. Closed on Sunday. Happy holidays from Tri-County Furniture, Flooring, Appliances, and Bedding. Tri-County Trailers is moving locations. Beginning December 1st, we will be moving into our new location at 1141 Airport Road in Beaver. With more stock than ever, we have a trailer to fit all your needs. Whether you're hauling a lawnmower, a skid steer, or that steer to market, we'll have you covered. We also have a new larger facility to handle your service, repair, and parts needs. Financing options are available for a wide range of credit worthiness. A big thank you to all of our loyal customers who made this possible. See you there. Adventure takes you here, but much of it starts right here in West Virginia, where Toyota has lived alongside hardworking West Virginians for over 25 years, investing over $2 billion in the Buffalo manufacturing plant and bringing in over 2,000 jobs. And that helps fuel the local economy. Thanks for making Toyota the number one selling brand in West Virginia. See your dealer and start your adventure today. Toyota, let's go places. Yeah, big hum, but. Yep. I could turn it down, but then it's hard to hear ourselves. That's a little better. That's a little better, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. You can turn my mic or my headphone up a little bit over there, Brandon. I, I've got you up. Oh, okay.
that better? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. The stage is set, and the fans have packed the stadium for tonight's WVSSAC State Playoff semifinal football game between the fourth-seeded Greenbrier West Cavaliers and the top-seeded James Monroe Mavericks. These two teams met in Charmco back in October, and the Cavaliers pulled out an impressive 25-8 victory. But tonight, we are in Linside, the Mavericks' home field, and everyone knows when at home, James Monroe is a totally different animal. So tonight, throw out the 12-0 record for the Cavaliers. Ditto for the 10-1 Mavericks. Because tonight, both teams are 0-0 with a Super 6 state championship game at stake. So everyone, buckle up. This one is going to be an epic battle of southern West Virginia with neighboring counties on the biggest stage. Along with Boomer Yancey, I am Brandon Baker, sports editor of the West Virginia Daily News, and this is the Greenbrier Valley Channel Sports Network. And now Boomer... He's going to talk a little bit about the James Monroe Mavericks and what we can expect to see from them this evening. You know, you said it. Uh, it was that game back in October that's still sticking with those guys. Uh, early part of October when they went up to Charm Cove and walked away with that. I believe it was a 25-8 to 8 loss. Right, 25-8. That night. And, uh, you know, the entire season the coaching staff has felt like uh, there was more in this team than they had been putting out yet. And I think that was kind of the turning point, and it took a little bit of time. But last week, I think you saw their best defensive performance up to this part of the season. Mm-hmm. Their cornerbacks really came alive, came away with, I believe, three interceptions in that game, forced a fumble. Pick six. Yeah, and uh, that was against a major offensive team in uh, Cameron who had put up you know 50, 60 points a game. So right. it's an impressive thing to watch them come out and play that way on a defense that – like I said, up to that point in the season, the coaching staff felt like was capable of a lot more. And so I think you're going to try, you're going to see that tonight. They know what this West team can do. They saw it firsthand up there in Charmco. A little different animal here tonight when you're in Linside, you're playing on the grass and not the turf. Mm-hmm. And uh, they're going to feel like that plays into their hands a little bit, I think. But when you put these two teams out there, this is a major rivalry. And I think you just throw everything from the past out. And it's going to be the team that wants it the most tonight. Yeah, this game has definitely been hyped up everywhere, all over social media, newspapers, any publication. It just seems like I'm seeing something every time I log on to a, a website or anything about this game. Um, there is something to watch. It's unofficial at the moment, but Tucker Lilly and Jake Pate may not be playing tonight for Greenboro West. Obviously, that's going to hurt them. Those are two both very big contributing starters. Uh, Pate especially, and I know Tucker Lilly, I believe, has 10 touchdown catches this season, which ties, I believe he tied a West record with that. So that's just something to watch. Again, it's unofficial, but if they're not out there, um, it won't be surprising. Yeah, it would uh, be a big hit to West if those two guys aren't able to go tonight. I believe Tucker Lilly had a touchdown pass the last time these two, or a touchdown catch, I should say, mm-hmm. last time these two teams met. And, of course, Jake Pate is such a cog in this West offense. Yeah, if Pate can't go, uh, I'd say you'll see a lot of Isaac Agee, who's very a very capable runner. And if Tucker Lilly can't go, Ethan Holiday, I think we'll see a lot more passes thrown his way. He's a jack of all trades type player for the Cavaliers. Yeah. Ethan Holiday was such a big part of that first game. Uh, really sprung them at halftime. They went in, almost went into halftime of that game down actually, and it was that uh, thirty second drive there right before halftime, capped off with Ethan Holiday touchdown reception down that left sideline that really broke that game open and it was all west in the second half and a lot of that was Ethan Holiday. Yeah they controlled the second half of that game I do remember that so we will say we're on channel five right now but once the game gets closer to kickoff channel five will go off the air so feel free to go to watchgvc.com the Greenbrier Valley Channel's page on Facebook and YouTube you search Greenbrier Valley Channel in the search bar on YouTube if you watch it there. So we'll take a little break and intro for the players and the National Anthem will be coming up here before too long and we'll let you listen to all that down on the field. We'll be back for kickoff on the Greenbrier Valley Channel Sports Network. Thank you. 
with Brady Hill in the first and second in Royal West Virginia. In two to six, in the end of our later, we'll see for the class double A title game Friday night at 7 o'clock. The triple A game will take place at 12 noon on Saturday. And the single A twenty two game will be Saturday night at 7 o'clock. So, folks, here's the starting lineup on the screen for Greenbrier West. Colton Dunbar at tight end. Tucker Lilly, who we talked about, is going to play tonight. Ethan Holliday. Jake Pate, another one we thought may not play, apparently will play this evening. Isaac Agee. Cole Vandals at quarterback in the offensive line. Jacob Witt. Darren Vaughn. Jacob Nutter. Peyton Ford. 
and Trent Parker. A very, very solid lineup for the Greenbrier West Cavaliers. On defense for the Cavaliers, Trent Parker, Jacob Witt, and Jacob Nutter, and Cole Vandal will supply the four-man front. Ethan Holliday, Brandon Potaker, and C.W. Sturgill at linebacker. Marcus Atkins and Evan Vandal are the corners, and Jake Pate and Isaac Agee are the free safety and strong safety, respectively. And as we look at the James Monroe starting offense, it would be quarterback Leighton Dowdy, Cooper Ridgeway, and Brock Parker, both at running back. Wide receivers are Chaz Boggs, Ryan Mann, and Bailey Ridgeway. And the starting offensive line, starting at the left tackle, Brady Baker, Ashton Evans, Justin Feemster, Gavin French, and Jacob Hall. And as we get a look at the defense, start with the defensive line. Again, it's Brady Baker, Jacob Hall, Ashton Evans, and Jackson Phipps. And linebacker Ryan Mann, Cooper Ridgeway, Brock Parker, and Bannon Goodman. In the secondary, Chaz Boggs, Will Boggess, and Leighton Doughty at safety. Should be a good one, Boomer. Yeah, absolutely. If these two teams get together, it is always fun to watch. doesn't matter what the sport is. past few years, it seems like big games always come down to these two teams which is crazy being both in the southern part of the state and neighboring counties, like we've mentioned. So that's, that's really cool and really good. Yeah, big boon for single-A sports in this state. And, uh, you know, you look forward at some of the changes that have been tossed out there about classifications. It looks like these two teams could be together for a while. Right, exactly. So we're looking forward to it. We're going to kick off here in the next, oh, probably 15 minutes or so. We'll have the national anthem and all that on the field for you to watch. And like we said before, we'll be right back. This is Brandon Baker and Boomer Yancey on the Greenbrier Valley Channel Sports Network. As the national anthem will be performed by Julianne Meadows. Oh, 
say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh Again, that was performed by Jimmy Ann Meadows. Thank you very much. Again, earlier today, Williamstown with the victory over Tucker County. That final score was earlier, 45 to 8. So they had punched their ticket to the state championship next Saturday night at 7 o'clock, awaiting a winner of tonight's game. I just want to read over our sponsors real quick, who we are very thankful for to bring you tonight's broadcast. We have Holiday Mechanical, LLC, McCarnley Insurance, Preston Fencing Union, Amanda Reed Photography, Greenbrier Environmental Group, Tri-County Furniture, Masters Mechantech and Used Cars, Western Auto, Price Gregory International, Mighty Shine Express Car Wash, Park Center Sporting Goods, Tri-County Trailers, Tom Johnson Coldwell Banker, Steve's Towing, S.J. Nehawk Lumber Company, The Bank of Monroe, member FDIC, Woodpool Services, A Street Logging and Land Purchasing, Melissa Furrow Bog CPA, Sonia Fullen Realtor, Dutch Miller Beckley Auto Mall of Lewisburg, the Market at Sunfresh, Legacy and Lawn Equipment, LLC, and Hurstman Safety Products. Again, very thankful and appreciative of all our sponsors this evening. We'll be right back for kickoff here in a few minutes.
We'd like to welcome our officials here tonight out of the Kamal Southern Conference. Your referee, Jason Wilkinson. Umpire, Alex Healy. Line judge, Nicholas Miller. The head lineman is Charles Short. Field judge, Robert Bowie. Side judge, Sean Kajeski. And back judge is Nelson Cunningham. We'd like to welcome this crew out of Kamal Southern to be our umpire the end of the referee here tonight. So captains making their way to midfield for Greenbrier West. It's Cole Vandal, Ethan Holliday, and Jacob Witt, who's number 53. Boomer, who's James Monroe got out there? Let's see. It looks like that's number 71, Justin Feemster, and number 54, Jacob Hall. The call is tails. It's a tail. You won the call. Receive. You'd like to receive. Yes, You'd sir. Like to kick towards the scoreboard, yes, correct? Sir. White over there, purple over here. You're next to right here. Greenbrier West is won the call. I'd like to receive. Shake hands, W. Benson. So we are just very shortly here from kickoff. Greenbrier West, according to our field cameraman, will receive the football first. 
This place is wild. James Monroe fans like to stomp the bleachers. It is loud. And this is an electric atmosphere here this evening. Yeah, absolutely great crowd tonight. Standing room only. Yeah, you can see over there. It's, a, it's wild and busy. So for James Monroe, Peyton Gardiner will kick off for the Mavericks. Almost underway here in the semifinals of the West Virginia WVSSAC State Playoff semifinal game sponsored by Toyota. So we're ready to go. Gardiner approaches the football, and we are underway. He has a good, long kick down to about the eight-yard line. It's returned. That looks like Ethan Holliday, who slips down. Yeah, you know, you talked about how Ethan Holliday is a jack-of-all-trades, and there he is returning the football. James Monroe's had a couple taken back on him this year, and he had a nice spring there. Yeah, it looks like he got out to about the 45, 46-yard line. So a good return from Ethan Holliday. Excellent starting field position for Greenbrier West and quarterback Cole Vandal. About a 42-yard return there from Holliday. Vandal going to start in the shotgun. Call it their own 46. Vandal's quick screen pass over on the right side and that looks like holiday and it is looks about five yards or so on that yeah script that first play get a nice easy completion for your quarterback get your offense uh playmaker on space there and get uh, seven yards it's a good pickup on first down bring up second and about three call it second and four for the cavaliers Vandal in the shotgun again. Two receivers to each side. Isaac Agee in motion. He's going to throw to Agee on the left. Agee makes a nice cut. He's got a first down for Greenbrier West. And out inside the 40 to about the 39-yard line of James Monroe. It's a good pickup there for Isaac Agee. And a new set of downs for the Cavaliers. Yeah, you can see West is utilizing motion, getting guys in space with blockers in front of them, and they're testing the perimeter of this Maverick defense. And so far, it's working. Yeah, good start for Greenbrier West. Vandal goes from the shotgun a lot. Three receivers to the right side, two to the left. Going another screen pass. That looks like a behind the line of scrimmage to Colton Dunbar. And he is tackled there, and the ball's loose. I don't know if they caught him down or if they caught a fumble. That was Chaz Boggs who came up on the play. It looks like they're going to spot it up there. I think he would say he was down. Yeah, I think they're going to call him down. Yeah, I yeah. Think that pass might have got away from Vandal a little bit there, went behind. He had to go back to get it, and that gave uh, Chaz Boggs time to come up and make the play. Almost a turnover. Yeah, Cooper Ridgeway, I believe it was, jumped on the ball. But mark down, Greenbrier West football. Second down. A.G. goes in motion, snap to Vandal, looks that way. Now he's going deep to the left side. It is intercepted. That's going to be Ryan Mann on the interception out there. We saw him with an interception last week, forced to fumble, and I mentioned that Maverick defense playing a lot better since the first time these teams met, and you see it right there. Yep, it's a big play here. Interception by Ryan Mann of West Cole Vandal, and the Mavericks will take the football over. First and ten going the other way. Well, we saw West come out. They were throwing uh, some screen passes. They're really extensions of the run game. Came out in five wide there, and that might be uh, a way to 
alleviate some of the work on Pate tonight, but you see him out there now. There's a snap back to Dowdy. He's going to keep it. Gets a couple before being hit hard there in the middle of the field by looks like number nine. That's Ethan Holiday, who's doing it all so far for the Cavaliers. Kyle Holiday just in such a central piece of this West team. So second down and eight coming up for the Mavericks. Call it second and seven. So give Dowdy three yards on that last play. He's under center here. Hand off there to, is that Bogus? That was uh, Brock Parker. Brock Parker. Good play by the Cavalier defense. No gain on that play. Third down and seven. Be big for Greenbrier West to get a stop here after the interception. Yeah, West defense, uh, defensive line just won the battle right there and got through. Nobody fooled on the handoff to Parker. This will be third and nine now for the Mavericks. Dowdy in the shotgun. He is going to keep it. He's weaving his way, picking his spot, and taken down by Brandon Potaker there for the Cavaliers. It's going to bring up fourth down for James Monroe as they try to get Dowdy to sneak it through, but a good play by Potaker to bring him down there three yards short of the first down. James Monroe late running Bogus onto the field. He's going to kick it away here. It's a pretty decent kick. Hits right around midfield. And yeah, they're going to mark him out right at the 50 yard yeah, right line. at midfield. It's going to be a good starting position coming up here for the Cavaliers. And they're going to have their second shot after that turnover on their first drive. Let's see if the play calling stays consistent of what they did the first drive or if they try to switch it up a little bit. I don't know if Pate is out there right now. I don't see him. Looks like they're going to go five wide again. Yeah, they're going to go back to this five wide formation. We've seen them do this and try to get the ball out onto the perimeter. Just really an extension of the run game. Holiday in motion. Snap back to Vandal. He's going to go to the left side to Holiday. Holiday picking his spot, getting around the left side, runs over defender and pushes forward. Ryan Mann coming up on the tackle. Yeah, tackled by Ryan Mann. Good play from Holiday. Good pickup on first down for Greenbrier West. Yeah, it's a play that's been effective for them to this point in the game. Just able to get out there. You have numbers. You have four receivers lined up to the top just like right there. Get the ball out and block. The same type of formation here. That was a pickup of five yards. Second and five snap to Vandal. He's going to try and keep it, and he gets back to the line of scrimmage, maybe pushes forward, but not much there for quarterback Cole Vandal of West. Yeah, you see that uh, defensive line of the Mavericks, one of the strengths of this team. You saw big Brady Baker. Uh, it's just a big group of linemen, strong guys. It's hard to do anything right in the middle of that defense. So officially no gain for Vandal. Third down and five as this place getting loud on the James Monroe side. Vandal brings Holiday to his right. He's got four receivers bunched to the right. He's going to run a little option here, and he pitches to Holiday, and he's got room. Holiday picks up a first down, leaps the defender, stays on his feet, still on his feet, pushing forward, and finally rolled down. Big run from Ethan Holiday, who is off to a tremendous start. Yeah, he gets down close to the 20. Yeah, that play started off just a great read from Vandal. Got the defense sucked in on him, had the pitch, got it out, and then it was just all Ethan Holiday making it happen. Second effort after he took a shot. He was in the air and got hit, able to come down, balance on his feet, and still pick up another five or six yards. Big play for West. Looks like they're on the Maverick 19. Big play there. So first and 10 from the James Monroe 19-yard line. 5.50 and counting in a scoreless game here in the first quarter. 
and I believe that's Holiday took the snap there, faked the handoff, and he goes for not much. Oh, the ball came out. I believe the ball did come they're, out. They're going to say down, yeah. Okay, maybe forward progress stopped when the ball did come out, but he did lose it. But it's going to stay Greenboro West football. Don't think the crowd's too happy with that. But the forward progress stop, Greenboro West ball, second down and 10 from the 19. Vandal going to stay in that shotgun. Holiday to his left. Vandal takes a snap, another option play, pitches back to Holiday, and he gets stuffed, maybe going to lose a yard. Yeah, same play that they had the big gain on a little bit earlier. They took it to the other side, and that time Cooper Ridgeway was able to get into that flat area and cover the pitch. Yeah, really good play there from Ridgeway. So he got Holiday by the legs. That's where you got to get him, trip him up. The third down and ten now for Greenbrier West. Vandal will stay in the shotgun most of the game. He's here again, Holiday in motion. He looks that way. He's going to go long. He's got a man down there, well defended. Yeah, I initially thought he was going to come over the middle where he had a guy open, but he went to the right side on to what looked like that uh, maybe a post route or a flag, and uh, Mavericks were able to get over there and knock that pass away. Almost caught on the second effort in the back end of that. Yeah, Chaz Boggs made a nice play to knock that one down. It was almost caught in the end zone, but it falls harmlessly incomplete. So it's fourth down and 10 for Greenboro West. I'd say they're going for it here. Offense is on the field. Vandal in the shotgun. Three receivers to the left. Or to the right, rather. Two to his left. Claps his hand. Snap back. Vandal looking. Vandal tries to step up, but is taken down and sacked. Boomer, who was that? I didn't I catch the number. I did not catch the number on that, but from the area it was coming from, it was a defensive tackle who was able to come through, and I didn't see which one may have been may have been Jackson Phipps. Okay, yeah, I didn't see the number, but it was a heck of a play, whoever yeah, it was. Yeah, I didn't see the number either. Popped up and, and got down the field pretty quick after he made the sack. But, again, it may have been Jackson Phipps or Jacob Hall, a couple of Mavericks are in the area. But, like I said, that defensive line is the strength of this team. Yeah, so turnover on downs for West. And James Monroe will take over first down and 10. About the 21. Dowdy's going to roll out and throw. That pass is incomplete. Good yeah. effort there. Yeah, West has been aggressive on defense so far on that run. They try to take advantage of that with some play action there and roll Daddy out. Just uh, not enough room on that boundary side of the field to complete that. So second and ten now coming up for James Monroe. James Monroe comes into this game ten and one. Greenbrier West is twelve and zero, oh. but in this one the records are tossed out the window. Anything can happen in these rivalry games. So on the 24, where James Monroe has it, second and 10, 4.07 left here in the first quarter, 0-0 game. Here's a little flare-out pass, and that's Parker. Yeah, the Mavericks trying to use some motion right there and got Parker open initially, but that uh, West defense really closed that down fast on the end. A good play there. Now, now I see Jake Pate out there on the defensive side. Hasn't played offense yet for Greenbrier West. He was questionable coming into this one. So third down and nine after that yard pickup. See what James Monroe has in the bag here. Dowdy in the shotgun. He's going to keep it again. Going out to the right side, being pursued, and he just goes down. Good job by Isaac Agee and Trent Parker, both there for the Cavaliers to stop him short, and James Monroe will have to kick it away. Yeah, second three and out the Mavericks have had into this game so far, and said that West defense just does a great job of diagnosing runs and closing in. They're very aggressive, so you're going to have trouble just running things like that without getting them backed out. 
Yeah, West showing good speed on the defensive end so far. So here's the punt from Bacchus. Another nice one. Holiday retreating. Makes the catch. Gets up the field, breaks a tackle, breaks another one, then finally wrestled down by two Mavericks. But Ethan Holiday is juiced up early. Making some really nice plays for his Cavaliers. Yeah, I was able to get out of a tackle there, wrapped up by Gavin French, and that's a six foot two hundred pound guy right there, and was able to shed that tackle and pick up some yardage. So first down and ten for Greenbrier West. Ball is on the James Monroe 47. There's a little flare pass out to that A.G. I believe it was A.G. and he was. He's taken down for a loss on the play. Yeah, it was Will Bogus Got off the block and was able to get in there and uh, get him low. Mavericks looking for that pass on defense now, looking to shed those blocks and make plays in the flats and see if uh, West sees that and decides they want to take one, try another one down the field. Yeah, James Renew's pass defense has been good. They're reading those screen plays now, and the couple passes down the field have been intercepted knocked away. So let's see what Greenbrier West coach Kelly Vaughn has in store here on second down and 13 for the Cavaliers. They are at midfield. Snap back to Vandal, a little misdirection to A.G. A.G. trying to get outside, and he is ripped down, and he fumbles the ball. James Monroe picks it up. That was Brock Parker who came in and got the wrap and forced that ball out, and Chaz Boggs quick to close in and grab it. So we've seen them put the ball on the ground a few times. You'll see Brock Parker come through right here from the linebacker position, gets a hand in, reaches around that backside, and knocks that ball away. And then Chaz Boggs, and you know what? If, if A.G. doesn't get his shoestrings as he goes by, he's probably going to score. Right. Good recovery by Boggs. He just got tripped up trying to take it the distance. Looked like he had a chance and just got got his feet out from under him there at the end. Yeah, you got to give some credit to A.G. right there. Even after the fumble, had the presence of mind to <laughs> make that play so yep. Chaz didn't score. James Monroe first down and 10. Here is a give to Ridgeway. Ridgeway around the left side. Got a nice little pickup. On first down. Maybe that's the first time we've seen Ridgeway run the ball tonight. Been a big part of this offense all year. Just under 1,000 yards in the regular season. So pickup of eight right there for Ridgeway. Brings up second down and two for James Monroe. On this cold and chilly night here in Linside. This game really kind of starting off the way the one back in early October did where both teams were just going at each other on defense. And that ball's on the ground. That's a shovel pass. I think they're probably going to call that incomplete. Yeah, they are. back judge is coming in to see yep. that incomplete. Shovel pass. Tried to get it to Parker there. Ball hit the ground. But since it was thrown forward, incomplete. Third down and two now coming up for James Monroe. Under a minute to go here in the first quarter. Scoreless game between James Monroe and Greenboro West. Yeah, just like that first game, it just takes a play or maybe two to spark one of these teams. And that's what you saw happen in Charmco. Got that big play right before halftime, and West was off to the races after that. Third and two from the West. It's like West 28. 27. Here's a pitch back. That's Ridgeway trying to get to the outside, and he does not get there. Good job by Greenbrier West on defense to pursue that football and stop Ridgeway. Looks like a little short. Yes, yeah, so they're going to have a fourth down and make a choice right here. You're in that part of the field where going for it, you're just a little out of field goal range. You're too close to punt. Yeah, no man's lands. We'll see James Monroe go for it here, I'm sure. Yeah, looks like the 25 yard line is the line to gain here. They're letting this run down. They might be planning on taking a timeout and talking about this. Yeah. We're already down under eight seconds on the play clock. Yeah, fourth and two from the West 27. Ten seconds ago, I don't doesn't look like anybody's in any hurry here. Yeah, big play coming up, so they're going to take a second to talk yep. about this. Yeah, James Monroe will call a timeout, and we'll be right back along with 
Boomer Yancey. This is Brandon Baker on the Greenboro Valley Channel Sports Network. Adventure takes you here, but much of it starts right here in West Virginia, where Toyota has lived alongside hardworking West Virginians for over 25 years, investing over $2 billion in the Buffalo manufacturing plant and bringing in over 2,000 jobs. And that helps fuel the local economy. Thanks for making Toyota the number one selling brand in West Virginia. See your dealer and start your adventure today. Toyota, let's go places. So after that timeout, a big fourth down and two coming up for the Mavericks. Coach John Mustaine won a timeout to draw something up here in his critical play early in the game and late in the first quarter. Here's a snap back. It's going to be Ridgeway up the middle, and it looks like he's going to have it initially, and he will. Yeah, got it by about a yard yeah, right up there. Picked up about three, I think. Yeah, and when you get in those situations, you kind of got to go to what, you know, got you this far. You hand it off to your big senior, and you let your offensive line work. So that is the end of the first quarter. We are still scoreless here between James Monroe and Greenbrier West. We'll be back for the second quarter right after this on the Greenbrier Valley Channel Sports Network. Wood Pool Services is now offering layaway just in time for the holidays. 10% down and no interest on any pool, spa, stoves, and necessities. This holiday, make your dream a reality. Wood Pool Services on Stafford Drive next to Roses in Princeton, West Virginia. Reno Medical Center is located in the heart of Reno and has provided quality health care to our community for over 45 years. We offer medical, dental, pediatrics, pharmacy, behavioral health therapy, x-ray, mammography, diabetes education, and on-site lab services. We accept most insurance plans and offer a sliding fee scale for qualifying patients. Make us your family's medical home and let us care for you. Reno Medical Center, excellent health care right at home. Western Auto in Reno is the solution for all of your automotive repair needs. We carry snow blowers, wood splitters, propane heaters, and a full line of Husqvarna saws, bars, and chains. And most importantly, service after the sale. We also carry Whirlpool washers and dryers, freezers, refrigerators, and hot water heaters. We have enjoyed serving our community for 48 years and support our Greenbrier West Cavaliers. So we're back here to open the second quarter. Hand off to Ridgeway over the right side. Picks up a couple, maybe three. Bring up second down for James Monroe. Second down and nine. Give Ridgeway a gain of a yard right there. out in the shotgun. They actually snap it to Ridgeway. It's a snap. It's on the ground and looks like Trent Parker of Greenbrier West has jumped on that football and it will be Greenbrier West ball going the other way. So now a, a turnover for James Monroe. West has two and let's see if the Cavaliers can capitalize on that big miscue right there. Yeah, just trying to go for a direct snap play right to Ridgeway. Came off uh, maybe a little behind him or his timing was off a little bit and couldn't corral it. And by the time he turned around to get it, already right there on top of it, quick through the line. So Vandal out being the shotgun, a couple receivers to each side. There's a snap on the ground again, and there's a flag on that play. I think maybe they're going to call a motion or a uh, legal motion on that or snap and start yeah. or something. Yep. 
Yeah, they're backing them up five. Yeah, something looked like it was wrong with that snap from the beginning, and they got them on that. This is at the 21-yard line, I believe. West going to back up to sack first down in 15 for the Cavaliers from the 21. Vandal looking to the left, makes a nice throw and a nice sliding catch. Yeah. Nope, they're going to oh, come up, wave it off, incomplete. Cradled that, yeah. Good effort by mm-hmm. Isaac Agee to slide. Looked like the ball may have hit the ground. Incomplete pass. Yeah, I initially thought he had caught that ball. Referees have a, maybe they're going to move That's the good. chains. Yes, yeah, so they are. Some talk about that. And looks like an overrule. Somebody's caught it a catch. I think they have moved it, yeah. Yeah, they've moved that up. They're going to say that was a catch. And I thought it was initially a really yep. good effort on the catch. It's about a 19-yard pickup there to Isaac Agee. Brilliant sliding grab. Three receivers to Vandal's right. He's got one to his left. And he's coming in motion. That's Agee. He's going to throw out to Agee. Little screen pass is caught. Cross out to midfield inside Maverick territory, inside the 40, inside the 30. And Isaac Agee, who's filling in for Jake Pate, is going all the way for the Cavaliers. Big time touchdown, Greenbrier West. Yeah, we've seen it a few times in this game, that play. And that time he was able to break it loose. You look here before, you're going to have numbers down here. Three receivers, you've got one corner up, one back, a safety in the middle of the field. You're going to motion the guy over. And you've got three guys to block two. And he's going to take that, make some move. Yeah, right there, you're seeing it makes the move on the initial defender, and then it's just a foot race. And good block right there, gets by another one, and then it's just gone. So a 60-yard touchdown catch. Cole Vandal to Isaac Agee, and Greenbrier West leads 6 to nothing, pending the extra point, which is good from Hayden Ridgeway. So Greenbrier West takes a 7 to nothing lead with 10.27 left in the first half. We'll be right back for the kickoff. This is Brandon Baker and Boomer Yancey on the Greenbrier Valley Channel Sports Network. At Tri-County Furniture, Flooring, Appliances, and Bedding in Covington, our 44,000-square-foot showroom is loaded with Black Friday deals. Now through November the 29th, save on the brand names you know and trust. Not only will you save, but you'll get up to 18 months in special financing on your appliance purchases and up to 36 months on furniture and bedding purchases when you use your Tri-County credit card. See store for details. But remember, limited quantities do apply, and when these items are gone, they're gone. At Tri-County, we'll also give you our best price and then give you additional savings with manufacturer's rebates from Whirlpool, Maytag, Beko, Frigidaire, Electrolux, and Samsung. Save up to an additional $600. See store for details. And as always, at Tri-County, you get free electrical cords on your range and dryer purchases and free hoses on all washer purchases only at Tri-County Furniture, Flooring, Appliances, and Bedding, 131 North Maple Avenue in Covington, Virginia. Or shop online anytime at shoptricountyfurniture.com. Open Monday through Friday, 930 to 530. Saturdays, 930 to 3. Closed on Sunday. Happy holidays from Tri-County Furniture, Flooring, Appliances, and Bedding. So a 60-yard touchdown catch from Isaac Agee from Cole Vandal gives West a 7-0 lead. And here's a little onside squib kick from Ridgeway. And it looks like the ball is going out of bounds. And the flag comes down on that one. Yeah, so the Mavericks have a choice here. Uh, they can take this ball with a 5-yard penalty or make them re-kick. And I think you'll just take that 5-yard penalty there and take the ball at the uh, be at the 40, 48-yard line, just about, 49. Right. Yeah, so the Mavericks will just take the ball and get really good field position here early here in the second quarter, 10-27 to go in the first half. Yeah, been a little bit of a sloppy offensive game to this point, a couple of turnovers. Yeah, three turnovers and, total. Yeah, and then that big 60-yard touchdown by the Cavaliers just before the break. The ball about the 49 of James Monroe. Down in the shotgun, gets the snap. He's going to roll to the right. He's being pursued, and he's going to just throw it up and out of bounds away. So incomplete, second down and 10 coming up for the Mavericks. Yeah, had Brock Parker in the area over there. This West defense, like I said, very aggressive. They're coming up. They're, they're playing 
downhill, and so the Mavericks are going to need to look to do something to get them out of the box a little bit and alleviate some of that pressure. So second down and 10 from their own 49. Got to get the snap, hands to Ridgeway up the middle, and Ethan Holiday just comes up and meets him quickly along with number 53, Jacob Witt. Both of those guys got Ridgeway on the ground very quickly. And you saw West actually rolled a safety up toward the end of that uh, for the snap, had an eight-man box trying to run into it, so really playing hard against the run. Third down and 12. Loss of two right there on that tackle from Holiday and Witt. Ball will be at the James Monroe 47. Dowdy under center. He's got a receiver to the right. Going to fake to Ridgeway, looking downfield. Now rolling out to the left, being pressured, and the ball is out. Looks like a fumble. Going to roll out of bounds back at about the 35 yard line. So another nice pursuit from the West defense towards that sideline to knock that ball out and James Monroe's face with a fourth and very long. Yeah, it looked like West was just dropping back in a cover four. Pressure was able to get to Dowdy and knock that ball out. Fortunate for the Mavericks that it went out of bounds. They're going to have a chance to punt this away. So Bogus from his own 25. It's a high kick, not as long as his previous couple. Takes a Kind of a sideways bounce, and that ball's down there by Ridgeway. So Greenboro West will take over about their own 48-yard line, first down and 10. Yeah, West got pressure on that punt, and I think uh, Boggs just had to get it out of there a little bit quicker. Ended up with a really high punt that didn't get too far down the field. First down, Cavaliers from their own 48. Vandal in the shotgun. Three receivers to the right, one to the left. He's going to fake to the right, try to go up the middle, and he's ripped down there. That ball was loose there for a second. He actually had that pin to his back as he went down. Wow, incredible. It came off of his hip and was around almost on his uh, back number, and he had his hand around the back cradle it as he went down, so able to keep control of that ball. So a loss of three, bring up second down and 13 for West. In these types of games, you don't want to play behind the chains, but both teams have done it pretty frequently tonight. Here's a screen pass out to left for Holiday off the top of his fingertips, and that ball's incomplete, so that'll bring up third down and 13. And that's something you got to be really careful about when you're in that kind of play is that you're not throwing that ball backwards. So uh, incompletion on a backwards pass, of course, is a fumble. Yeah. And that ball just enough to be ahead but close. And we saw one that was behind a little bit earlier. Also got tipped up in the air. That would have been a pick six. If the defender could have gotten to it. Mm -hmm. Vandal in the shotgun. Five wide again. He's going to fake the screen. Looking, under pressure, now scrambling, looking for something. He's going to go down. Well, yeah, it was Bannon Goodman who was able to come up from that outside linebacker spot and and uh, contain him and get the sack. A good play from Goodman. Yeah, it's a dangerous player at Vandal, and anytime he gets out there in open space like that, uh, as a defensive coordinator, you're going to get a little bit worried, but Goodman able to, to make the wrap. Yeah, Vandal, he's a big kid. He's a uh, state champion wrestling last year, so he's not easy to bring down. But fourth down and 16 after that loss of three, and Cavaliers will punt it away. I believe Isaac Agee is the punter. He's going to get the snap. Mavericks brought the pressure. Off, yep. They got close, but he gets away. Pretty good kick taken at the 28-yard line by Ridgeway, and he's taken down there by Marcus Adkins, Greenbrier West, and James Monroe will start right there with a new set of downs.
So Dowdy in the shotgun. He's going to take and throw it a little screen pass out to the right. Little too far incomplete. And trying to get the ball out to Boggs in space and get something going. This uh, Cavalier defense really so they're looking to stop the run first. They're using the seven and eight man boxes. And you've got to find a way to get the, the ball to people like like Bogus and Man out on the edge. The Greenboro West defense al- averages allows 6.5 points a game, and that includes 20 they allowed to Wahama. So they they didn't allow very much this year. Down in shotgun again. He's going to get it. Comes to the left side, trying to get away from a tackle, and he can't do it. Picks up maybe a yard or so. That's number 51 for Greenboro West. C.W. Sturgill, their leading tackler during the season. Brings him down right there and brings up third down and long for James Monroe. Yeah, Dowdy has found some success over the season being able to scramble and pick up yards on that. But this team is fast and don't miss a lot of tackles. Yeah, I think Coach Kelly Vaughn preaches, you know, good tackling, good tackling position. So in the shotgun again, Dowdy goes back. He's looking. He's under pressure once again, rolling to the right and gets away. So he's going to try and keep it, and Potaker brings him down. Looks like a little short of the first down. Good job there by Ridgeway. There was nothing there, and he made something. Yeah, it's six men in the box right there. They had backed off to defend that long third down, still able to get pressure. It's going to bring up fourth down and four for James Monroe. They're not taking any chances. They're going to go ahead and kick it away with Bogus. He gets it off. Pretty decent kick. It takes a nice James Monroe bounce. Still rolling inside the 30 to about the 29 of West, and that's where they'll take over. We're in the second quarter, 6.41 to go till halftime. Greenbrier West 7, James Monroe 0 if you're just joining us. We're going to stay right here because we're ready to go. team to this point has really been able to sustain an offensive possession. The lone score came on that big 60-yard burst. Yeah, it has been a grinded out football game so far. Vandal in the shotgun. Five wide again, two to the right, three to the left. He's going screen to the left and it's caught. And that is, I cannot tell, I think it's Dunbar maybe. It is Dunbar. Colton Dunbar. 6'4", 205-pound sophomore. You know, just continuing to test the perimeter of uh, the Maverick defense. You actually had a Maverick defender. I didn't see who it was who got into the backfield. Well, not really the backfield, into the back of the flat and just couldn't bring down the ball carry. He has a 16-yard pickup from the 29 to the 45. Vandal bringing Holiday to his right again. He's going to run that little option play, and he pitches it to Holiday. Holiday's got a little bit of room, but it closes quickly. What a big time play there from Chaz Boggs on defense. He came flying in, took the legs right out from under Holiday. Yeah, Brock Parker came from his linebacker spot, was able to get uh, get hands on to Holiday and stretch that out, and that gave Parker or that gave Boggs time to come in and make a big tackle. Yeah, good play by both of those guys right there. Call it no gain, even though the ball moves back to about the 49 and a half. 44 and a half. Bandit will stay in the shotgun. Holiday going to motion up, and he's going to look for him again. It's a low throw, and Holiday has to jump on it. We've got a flag. Yeah, flag in from the far side. Might be a hold out there on the initial call. We'll see. See what the refs call here. Yeah, they're asking James Monroe if they want to take this penalty. Yeah. No, they're going to call false start. False start, yeah. James Monroe will decline it and just make it third down and long. <clears throat> Holiday had to jump on that ball. Probably been better off just to knock it into the ground, but that's easier said than done sitting in here. 
third down and 12 coming up for Greenbrier West. Third and 12. We are approaching five minutes to go here in the first half. Cavaliers leading seven to nothing. Snap back to Vandal. He looks. He's under pressure, and down he goes, and the ball comes out. That was Jacob Hall who got yep, in there and Jacob made that Hall. hit. Ball's out. Jameson Rover covers. West just turns it over for the third time in this half, and that's a big momentum swing to the Mavericks. Looks like number 64, Brady Baker, recovered it for James Monroe. Yeah, Brady Baker, just a big part of this defense. But you saw it was uh, Jacob Hall who came in off that left end and made the initial hit, and then Brady Baker able to come in and get on top of that ball. So an opportunistic defense for the Mavericks tonight so far, forcing three West turnovers. And James Monroe is going to take over on the West 39. Dowdy, little screen pass. He's got his man for several yards, and that is that Boggs. Yes. That is Chaz Boggs, and that's a play designed to take advantage of that aggressive defense we're talking about. You just back up, you, you let them come, and you dump it right yep. over the top back to your athlete. Pick up about five, it looks like, six. Call it six. Second down and four for the Mavericks. Yeah, six-yard gain, and that's designed just to make those linebackers at least respect uh, that zone. Shotgun again for Dowdy. Snap back. Looks to the left. Throws that way. He's got Ridgeway for a nice pass. He looks like he's trying to make a nice move, but West just corrals him with three different defenders. And then that ball comes out, but I think Ridgeway was down. Yeah, ball flying all over the place. It is. Could be nerves. It's not rain. (laughs) No, both teams played in plenty of rain last yeah, week, but no dry kidding. as a bone tonight. Maybe it's too dry. That could be it. So inside the 35, ball at the 34 of Greenboro West for the Mavericks. Third down and three. Dowdy looking. He has a man wide open over the middle. He's got it. That's a first down. That's Bailey Ridgeway yep. with a catch. Good play right there. Bailey Ridgeway with a nice catch. First down pickup for the Mavericks, and they are in business now after that turnover by the Cavaliers. Yeah, just backed up, had double slants run right there, had Ridgeway on one side, you had Man on the other, and just able to pick on that zone. One of the passes that Daddy's had tonight where he wasn't under a lot of pressure. Right. Ball looks like about the 23 of West. That's a handoff up the middle and falling forward. I believe that's Ridgeway for about a yard or two. So if you're just tuning in, 7-0 Cavaliers. We're approaching 245 and on a running second quarter clock. Jake Pate and Tucker Lilly haven't seen them on offense tonight at all. Snap back. Dowdy under pressure from Potaker. He's after him. Dowdy gets away, but the initial man, but Isaac Agee brings him down. Good play there from Agee. Yeah, it's going to bring up a third and looks like about five. Mavericks definitely down here in four down territory right now. So a four-yard pickup there from Dowdy. Third down and five, James Monroe. Ball at about the 17. Dowdy under pressure, and he's going down. Going to lose a few. Good play right there at C.W. Sturgill again for the Cavaliers. Yeah, Sturgill came on a blitz right off the left side of the offensive line and came right in there. Didn't have time. That was a designed quarterback draw, it looked like, but didn't have time to even get started. Right. Yeah, so loss of three, fourth down and eight. 
And like you said, this is four down territory in this situation. See if they go back to that slant look they had a little bit earlier. Look, James Monroe may run this down and call a timeout, and that's what they're going to do. Minute three left. Cavaliers seven, Maverick zero. We'll be right back. This is Boomer Yancey and Brandon Baker on the Greenberg Valley Channel Sports Network. Tri-County Trailers is moving locations. Beginning December 1st, we will be moving into our new location at 1141 Airport Road in Beaver. With more stock than ever, we have a trailer to fit all your needs. Whether you're hauling a lawnmower, a skid steer, or that steer to market, we'll have you covered. We also have a new larger facility to handle your service, repair, and parts needs. Financing options are available for a wide range of credit worthiness. A big thank you to all of our loyal customers who made this possible. See you there. That slant play from earlier went to Bailey Ridgeway, and that was a cover three. And usually in a cover three, you have a closed field, and that kind of pass you got to be careful with with three safeties back there, but able to get it out into a hole in that zone over to the right side. We'll see what they come out with here. Yes, yeah, so James Monroe, big fourth down and eight. At the West 21. Snap back to Dowdy. He looks to the left. He throws that way. He's got a man there, but overthrows everybody just by a hair. Ethan Holliday on the coverage of Ridgeway. And that'll be a turnover on downs for the Mavericks. Yeah, that leaves just under a minute for Greenbrier West to do something with here. And they had less time than that uh, going into halftime in the game in October. We were able to put it into the end zone. So the Mavericks had to stay on their toes here on defense and make sure this thing stays a 7 nothing game. Yeah, if you're James Renault, you don't want another 60-plus yard screen pass going for a score right before half. So Vandal will come out in the shotgun once again, as he's done most of the night. Snap back to him. He's going to keep it up the middle, and he's going to get eh, maybe a yard. So no real sense of urgency here. It looks like from West they may be content to go ahead and take this thing into halftime here with a couple of runs. May have to stop the clock with this injury here to James Monroe. Yeah, let me we'll see who that was. It looked like a number 18. I'm not positive, though. That'd be Jamie Roberts. Snap back to Vandal. He's going to keep it again to the left side. Not much there. Good play there by James and Rose, number 64, Brady Baker. Yeah, just a little surprised that West didn't come out a little bit more aggressive here before the half, but, you know, it might be a factor of those three turnovers they've had. They right. wanted to make sure they kept this thing where it was. Right. So we're at halftime. Greenbrier West 7, James Monroe nothing. Halftime coming up. We'll be back to wrap up a little bit of the first half in a few minutes. We'll show you some commercials, and we'll be right back from the Green Bar Valley Channel Sports Network. Radon Medical Center is located in the heart of Reno and has provided quality health care to our community for over 45 years. We offer medical, dental, pediatrics, pharmacy, behavioral health therapy, x-ray, mammography, diabetes education, and on-site lab services. We accept most insurance plans and offer a sliding fee scale for qualifying patients. Make us your family's medical home and let us care for you. Reno Medical Center, excellent health care right at home. Wood Pool Services is now offering layaway just in time for the holidays. 10% down and no interest on any pool, spa, stoves, and necessities. This holiday, make your dream a reality. Wood Pool Services on Stafford Drive next to Roses in Princeton, West Virginia. Western Auto in Raynell is the solution for all of your automotive repair needs. We carry snow blowers, wood splitters, propane heaters, and a full line of Husqvarna saws, bars, and chains. And most importantly, service after the sale. We also carry Whirlpool washers and dryers, freezers, refrigerators, and hot water heaters. 
We have enjoyed serving our community for 48 years and support our Green Bar West Cavaliers. At Tri-County Furniture, Flooring, Appliances, and Bedding in Covington, our 44,000 square foot showroom is loaded with Black Friday deals. Now through November the 29th, save on the brand names you know and trust. Not only will you save, but you'll get up to 18 months in special financing on your appliance purchases and up to 36 months on furniture and bedding purchases when you use your Tri-County credit card. See store for details. But remember, limited quantities do apply, and when these items are gone, they're gone. At Tri-County, we'll also give you our best price and then give you additional savings with manufacturer's rebates from Whirlpool, Maytag, Beko, Frigidaire, Electrolux, and Samsung. Save up to an additional $600. See store for details. And as always, at Tri-County, you get free electrical cords on your range and dryer purchases and free hoses on all washer purchases only at Tri-County Furniture, Flooring, Appliances, and Bedding, 131 North Maple Avenue in Covington, Virginia. Or shop online anytime at shoptricountyfurniture.com. Open Monday through Friday, 930 to 530. Saturdays, 930 to 3. Closed on Sunday. Happy holidays from Tri-County Furniture, Flooring, Appliances, and Bedding. Tri-County Trailers is moving locations. Beginning December 1st, we will be moving into our new location at 1141 Airport Road in Beaver. With more stock than ever, we have a trailer to fit all your needs. Whether you're hauling a lawnmower, a skid steer, or that steer to market, we'll have you covered. We also have a new larger facility to handle your service, repair, and parts needs. Financing options are available for a wide range of credit worthiness. A big thank you to all of our loyal customers who made this possible. See you there. Adventure takes you here, but much of it starts right here in West Virginia, where Toyota has lived alongside hardworking West Virginians for over 25 years, investing over $2 billion in the Buffalo manufacturing plant and bringing in over 2,000 jobs. And that helps fuel the local economy. Thanks for making Toyota the number one selling brand in West Virginia. See your dealer and start your adventure today. Toyota, let's go places.
James Monroe, and it's just been a defensive battle. Even when they turn those balls over, uh, they haven't had to pay for it to this point, really, either team. Right. So we'll see maybe if we can get a more consistent, clean game in the second half, but something tells me that the defenses will still be flying around. So we'll be back for second-half kickoff here in the next couple of minutes. This is Boomer Yancey and Brandon Baker on the Greenbrier Valley Channel Sports Network.
Score Tyson 27, Bridgeport 7. Yeah, you got to find all. And the AA halftime, Belmont Senior 21, Independence 7. So we are getting set for the second half kickoff. Take place here in just a few seconds. Greenboro West getting lined up. They will kick off to the Mavericks to start the second half. Greenboro West leads 7 to nothing. We mentioned a three turnover half for West. A 60-yard touchdown from Isaac Agee is the only scoring. Mavericks had one turnover but held off the scoreboard by that fast West defense. Yeah, if you're West, you're coming into this half, you're wanting to limit those turnovers, three giveaways in that first half, and if you're the Mavericks, you need to stretch the field a little bit and try to get West out of this uh, seven, eight-man box we've had to face. But to do that, you've got to give uh, Leighton Dowdy some time. He's been under a lot of pressure all night. So Brock Parker returned that kickoff for the Mavericks, about 15 yards, picked it up at 20, took it out to the 35, and that's where James Monroe will start their first second half offensive series. Dowdy will start in the shotgun. Two receivers at each side. Got a back to his left. He's going to throw over to the left, and that ball is caught. That's Chaz Boggs. He's getting past the first down marker. Picks up about 14 or 15 yards on the play. First down, James Monroe and Trent Parker. A little slow getting up there for the Cavaliers, but he's finally to his feet and looks okay. Yeah, you talk about dangerous offensive threats on the Maverick team. Chaz Boggs has got to be the first one that you mention, and right there you saw him get him the ball in space is able to pick up a first down. So first and 10, James Monroe at their own 48-yard line. Dowdy out of the shotgun, snap back. Going to roll to the right and just kind of throw it into the ground. He was under some pressure right there. So that will bring up second down and 10 facing the Mavericks. Yeah, it looked like they were trying to set a screen up to Boggs on the right side there, but the Cavalier defense was able to get in there and disrupt it. Second and ten, Mavericks running a couple players onto the field. Well, they sprint up to the ball. Ready to snap it here with 11.23 left here in the third quarter, just underway here in the third. Snap back to Dowdy. He's going to keep it to the right side, trying to bounce it and going nowhere. Trent Parker and I believe it was Holiday in there. Nope, that's 44. That's Brandon Potaker. Parker and Potaker combined to make that tackle. Yeah, not been a lot of room in the interior of the 
Cavaliers defense tonight, especially for those quarterback draws. We saw uh, a couple of them lose yardage in the first quarter half. Well, the West defense continuing to stand tall here early in the second half. Third down and 11 for James Monroe. Coming on that same type of formation there. Dowdy going to throw across the middle. He's got a man. He's trying to get up the field but tackled nicely there. That's Jake Pate making his presence felt on defense. Hasn't made it on offense tonight. But a good tackle right there on number 15, Bailey Ridgeway for the Mavericks. It's going to be fourth down and about three. It was creeping over into Greenbrier West side of the field and getting into this area where you've got to think about four down territory again. Yeah, and the Mavericks are going to go for it. Fourth down and three from the Cavalier 45-yard line. Snap back to Dowdy. Looking to the left, he goes that way. It's Ridgeway. He is stopped. Yeah, just diagnosed great from the Cavalier defense. They saw that coming all the way. Evan Vandal, number 10 there for Greenbrier West, the first guy to make the initial hit and the stop, and the Cavalier is going to take over on the turnover on downs by James Monroe. And they will have it at their own 45-yard line. First down and 10. Five wide formation, three to the left, two to the right of quarterback Cole Vandal. Vandal takes the snap. He's going to pitch it quickly. That is Ag. Not much room there for Ag. Good pursuit by the Maverick defense on that play. Yeah, Cooper Ridgeway got through the line initially. They were able to seal him off on a pretty good block, but the rest of the defense just floated right behind. There's nowhere to go on the left side. So call it no gain. Looks like he may have actually lost a half a yard, but we'll call it second down and 10 for Greenbrier West. Still a throw in 45. Holiday in motion. Now he goes to Vandal's left. Vandal waits a snap, gets it, fakes to Holiday, and tries to take it himself, and he is stuffed. Yeah. Brady Baker was in there. Yeah, Jacob Hall got a Jacob hand Hall. on him. And we saw those two earlier combine on that strip sack and fumble recovery. There they are again. Yeah, life is tough for offense in this one. Third down and 12 coming up for Greenbrier West. Yeah, if you like defensive football, you're having a blast tonight. Exactly. Third and 12, Cavaliers approaching nine minutes to go here in the third quarter. Snap back to Vandal. He's looking. I think he wants to throw it deep, and he does. He throws it out there, and the ball is broken up nicely by Chaz Boggs. He's doing it on both sides of the football tonight and makes a really good defensive play right there. Yeah, West hasn't attempted to go deep a lot in this game. They've been happy stretching the field horizontally and picking up yardage that way, but every time they've gone down the field, the Mavericks have been there. Yeah, they've played really good defense down the field on those long passes. Fourth down and 12, and West is probably going to have to kick this one away. We'll see what they have decided to do. And they will kick it away with Isaac Agee. Now we're going to have a stoppage of play on the field. Looks like timeout Greenbrier West. Yeah, I'm going to get a timeout. And uh, the way the defense is a play tonight, I think you'd feel pretty confident going forward about anywhere on the field that you could stop the other team, even on a short field. And I can't imagine they'll go for it on their own side of the field. Uh, on a fourth and 12, but I think you could feel confident if you did. Right. Good point. This is more likely an adjustment on something they saw on the uh, coverage to make sure they don't get a block here. Right. So A.G. trots back out on the field.
Say he was told to get this away as quick as he can, but try to kick it as well as he can. Snap back to him. They brought pressure. AJ goes down. A good line draft kick, though. About the 25-yard line, I think. Maybe the 30. That's a 30. And that's where James Monroe will take over. First down and 10 from the 30 for James Monroe. 8.45 to go here in the third quarter. 7-0 Cavaliers in a defensive battle on a cold, chilly night here in Linside. Dowdy going to go under center here. Snap back and a flag before the play gets started. Probably going to be a false start against James Monroe, and that'll back him up five. Yeah, that's what it is. They're going to blow that play dead before it ever gets off. We will mention earlier today, Williamstown beat Tucker County 45-8. to eight. So the winner of this one will play Williamstown in the state championship game, WVSSAC. Sponsored by Toyota. Mavericks will have first and 15 at the 25 after the five-yard false start penalty. Two receivers to each side. Dowdy back, rolling to the right, looking down the field, motions for his receiver to go deep, and he does, and he's got it complete to him. Out to about the 47. That's a heck of a play and a good throw and catch. Ryan Mann with the, with the catch. Yeah, Ryan Mann right there, and he was initially just on a stop route, and uh – Leighton Dowdy scrambled to his left, and he went to a scramble drill. He just broke down the field, and he came open. Dowdy found him. He motioned for a man to go deep, and he did, and made a perfect throw right along the sideline. Yeah. First and ten, James Monroe. Yeah, they tell you the quarterback scrambles. If you're short, go deep. If you're deep, come short, and they found him. First and ten from the 47 of the Mavericks. Snap back to Dowdy. He looks. Now he's going to try and run it. He sneaks through the line. Good little run there into West Territory to about the West 47. Yeah, probably the most successful of the quarterback draws we've seen uh, Dowdy attempt tonight. Pick up of about seven. Call it an official gain of six. Second down and four for the Mavericks. Dowdy will stay in the shotgun here. Snap back to him. He's going to go to the left, and that's a heck of a play right there. That is quarterback, also linebacker Cole Vandal for Greenboro West coming up and making a nice low tackle around the shoes and tripping up Dowdy for a loss. Yeah, Vandal did a good job right there. He got in there, was a blocker. He kept the leverage to the inside. That guy wanted to get him you know, outside so he could push him, but he stayed inside and then came off the block and was able to shoot through that gap and make the tackle. It's a loss of four. Third down and eight facing the Maverick offense. Kind of feels like a big play here with just under seven and a half minutes left here in the third quarter. Snap back to Dowdy. He is looking. He's going to roll to the right again. He's had success here. He stops, throws back across the middle, but throw is low. Good attempt there on defense. West number 10, that was Evan Vandal. Incomplete pass, fourth down and eight for James Monroe. Yeah, that pass came late and back across the field. Usually a dangerous thing, but it got away with it right there. So the Mavericks are going to punt it away. I thought they were maybe close to the area of the field where they could go for it, but they decided against that. They're going to kick it away with Bogus. Baga steps into it, gets another nice kick. Pretty good punter. That ball's going to bounce favorably for James Monroe. Well, yeah, and Holiday came over and slipped a little bit on the turf. Almost slipped into that ball. That would have been a disaster. Right. Yes, that would have been. 
Luckily for the Cavaliers, that did not happen, so they're going to take over. First and 10 at their own 20. The James Monroe side of the field stomping, getting loud. It's been like that all night in this electric atmosphere, big crowd as you can see. One of the biggest games of the year in West Virginia. Vandal will stay in the shotgun. Motions A.G. out the left. Low snap. Vandal picks it up, and he has just wrestled down quickly. That's going to be a loss. Yeah, you can credit a few Mavericks on that. I think Jacob Hall was the one to or actually bring him down, but you also had Brady Baker and Jackson Phipps in on that. And Brady Baker has been all over the place from that line in the backfield this evening. The loss of a couple, second down and 12. Vandal back under pressure again. A screen pass is intercepted. And that's going to be taken back for a touchdown. And that was Brock, was Brock Parker. That, that's right, Brock Parker. Yeah, Brock Parker standing there at the linebacker position. They're trying to set up a screen. It looks like he read it and just jumped the route. We'll get a look at it here. You see Parker is right there. And he's going to come in on the blitz. Now he's backing up. And, yeah, just jumped the route. Yep, he read it perfectly. Jumped the route, and then nobody had time to realize what was going on, and he was able to get that thing in. So the Mavericks can't get anything going on offense in this game so far, but the defense has scored. Just like they did last week. Yeah, you know, we talked about uh, the Sparks, and there's been two of them in this game. We'll see how it goes. One was that 60-yard touchdown pass to A.G., and then that interception pick six from Bark Parker. And Peyton Gardeners, extra point is good. We are tied 7-7, seven to seven, 6.23 left in the third quarter. We'll be right back. This is Boomer Yancey and Brandon Baker on the Greenbrier Valley Channel Sports Network. At Tri-County Furniture, Flooring, Appliances, and Bedding in Covington, our 44,000-square-foot showroom is loaded with Black Friday deals. Now through November the 29th, save on the brand names you know and trust. Not only will you save, but you'll get up to 18 months in special financing on your appliance purchases and up to 36 months on furniture and bedding purchases when you use your Tri-County credit card. See store for details. But remember, limited quantities do apply, and when these items are gone, they're gone. At Tri-County, we'll also give you our best price and then give you additional savings with manufacturer's rebates for from Whirlpool, Maytag, Beko, Frigidaire, Electrolux, and Samsung. Save up to an additional $600. See store for details. And as always, at Tri-County, you get free electrical cords on your range and dryer purchases and free hoses on all washer purchases only at Tri-County Furniture, Flooring, Appliances, and Bedding, 131 North Maple Avenue in Covington, Virginia. Or shop online anytime at shoptricountyfurniture.com. Open Monday through Friday, 930 to 530. Saturdays, 930 to 3. Closed on Sunday. Happy holidays from Tri-County Furniture, Flooring, Appliances, and Bedding. To a kickoff, Greenberg West on the return, a flag on the play coming from the far sideline. See what that call is. This is going to be a late hit. Yep, late hit out of bounds on James Monroe. So West will get 15 yards tacked on to the end of that return. It's going to set them up on the Maverick side of the field down around the 45-yard line, even the 44. Yeah, put on the 44. First and 10, Greenbrier West from the James Monroe 44. That could be a big penalty. Vandal under center. Going to turn and just give a straight handoff to Ag. Ag spins, and he has wrestled down to the ground. Jacob Hall was in there. Yeah, Cooper Ridgeway came Cooper up Ridgeway. from his defense or uh, from his linebacker position, and uh, AJ did a real good job on that of keeping that ball because it looked like uh, Ridgeway came in and put a helmet right on it. Yeah. So a loss of a yard back to the 45. We'll come out in that five wide formation. Vandal in the shotgun. 
snap back. Quick throw over to the right side. That is Colton Dunbar. He makes a nice move and cuts to the inside. Colton Dunbar with a big-time play. Yeah, touchdown save and tackle from Ridgeway, and it's the uh, second time you've seen that play break loose. Ran it a lot in this game. First time that broke was that 60-yard touchdown. So first down Greenboro West. I thought he may have gone down on a knee when he caught it, but apparently he kept it, kept it off the grass. I think that's what some fans are yelling about. They're inside the 25 at about the 23 and a half yard line. Vando in that shotgun formation again. He's going to fake a handoff and keep it. He's on the right side, cuts it back into the middle, and he dropped the ball. Man. But West picked it up. Somebody picked it up for the Cavaliers. Yeah, initially thought the Mavericks were going to jump on that, but I think Holiday got Holiday, in there and got it. Yep, Holiday jumped in there and grabbed it, and he's kind of hobbled as he gets up off the field. Yes, yeah, sir, trying to stretch that out. He's waving the coaches off. Yeah, I can't see him coming out of here. That roll, that uh, quarterback keeper there from Vandal is going to get him down to the 10-yard line and be first and goal. Yep, first down and goal, Greenbrier West from the 10. Vandal in the shotgun, snap back, and flag down before the play starts. Yeah, probably going to go on the offense, a yep. false start. Yep, I'm going to back him up five yards here. And that is what the call is. So first down and 15. That back to Vandal, and another stoppage of play. Another flag comes flying in, and that looks like another false start on Greenbrier West. And it is. Yep. Not what you want to do down here uh, at the 10-yard line. Especially with points at a premium this evening. You get down inside the 10, want to move towards the end zone. The West, two straight penalties, backs him up by 10 yards after the 20. To Vandal under center. He's going to fake handoff. He's going to roll out to the left side. Vandal's got a little bit of room. Cuts to the inside. Nice run, Cole Vandal there on first and 20. Yeah, does a good job almost getting that penalty yardage yep. all back. Yeah, almost back. Looks like he picked up about nine, eight and a half, maybe nine yards. And you've got Jacob Hall limping right there. He's going to stay in the game. And no, it looks like he's actually going to go ahead yeah, and come out. Doesn't look like he's feeling too hot. Carter Miller, the freshman, going to be coming in. So second down and 12. For the Cavaliers. Vandal gets a snap, rolls to the right, has a man open. He throws it up, and the ball it looks like it's intercepted, and it is. Down the sideline, I believe that's Chaz Boggs. Yeah, Boggs oh. slipped right in front of that route, and I don't think Vandal ever saw him. The second pick of the night off a screen pass like that from West by James Monroe, and that one, Chaz Boggs, and he just went flying up the sideline. And you're going to watch Chaz Boggs. He's coming right to the top right near your screen. He's going to see this. He's right here. Work his way, yeah, right back in, and that ball's in the air, and just right underneath the route, and I don't think Vandal ever saw him. And a good return by Boggs as well. So James Monroe going to take over. Yeah, and it's been a story of turnovers here for this Cavalier offense tonight, the fifth one. Dowdy rolls to the right. He's under pressure. He throws, and is that Boggs that dives? It's calling it incomplete. 
So second down and ten coming up. Good effort there by Chad. Right, I think they're going to call that complete. Oh, they did. They did call it there. complete. Yeah, about a four-yard pickup. And that's a heck of a catch. Just four yards, but a great play by Boggs. That's the second time we've seen just a shoestring uh, yeah. tackle. Or, sorry, a shoestring catch down the field earlier. Uh, Cavaliers had one. I saw one official waving incomplete. The other one came in and marked it down there. So pick up a four, second down, and six for the Mavericks. Snap back to Dowdy. He's trying to pick his way through the line, and he's going to get maybe a yard before getting gang tackled there by a pack of Cavaliers. Yeah, and still not a lot going there uh, in the interior of the Cavalier defensive line. I'm about to pick up of a yard or so there. Yeah, Trent Parker leading the way there for Greenbrier West. So third down and six. Two and a half minutes left in the third quarter. Dowdy goes back, throws across the middle of the field, and that ball's deflected and picked off. It's Ethan Holliday. He takes it back inside the 25 to about the 22. Yeah. Says, you do it, and I'll do it too, says Ethan Holliday. Yeah, kind of the same thing. Linebacker position comes up, steps right in front of the route, and just able to jump it. I don't think Dowdy ever saw him. Yeah, Holliday kind of batted it up in the air, then just snatched it out. He's had a heck of a ball game just like Chaz Boggs has for James Monroe, who had that pick for them. Yeah, absolutely. You know these seniors are going to come in here and just give it everything they got. They're thinking last game of the year, can't hold anything back. The first and ten, Greenbrier West are going to snap it to Holiday. He's going to hand it to A.G., and A.G. is ripped down. Brock Parker Brock coming up Parker. again. Yeah. Yep, good just, play by Parker. Yeah, just a sophomore. Parker uh, has really came on for this Maverick defense in the second half of the season especially. Have a break here for a second. Take the time to mention that Toyota and your local West Virginia Toyota dealers are proud to be the official partner of the WVSSAC, supporting high school sports all across West Virginia. Visit buyatoyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. Snapback Holiday takes it, and he pushes forward. For a few yards there on second and 13. May have gotten those lost yardage back. Yeah, it looks like it's going to bring up about a third and eight here. Give him about five yards there for Holiday. Third down and eight. Greenbrier West. They're on the James Monroe 20. Got to get to the 12 for a first down if you're the Cavaliers. Vandal takes a snap. He's going to lob it over to the left side, and that ball is broken up nicely. Yeah, Will Boggs on Bogus. the coverage. Had two interceptions last week, and uh, coming into this game, you thought they were going to test him. They had some success against these cornerbacks the first time they met, but they've uh, done a pretty good job on the back end here tonight. Of course, he was Every defensive player on this field has done a tremendous job tonight. That's true. He was looking for A.G., who had the touchdown in the first half. A good play there by Boggs. Fourth down and eight for the Cavaliers, and it's like Coach Kelly Vaughn going to probably go for this one being at the 20. Snap back Holiday. He fakes like he's going to run, rolls to the left, throws it back across the field, and it's caught. At the 10-yard line, first down, what a play. That's Colton Dunbar. What a huge fourth down play, and it's first and goal with the eight for the Cavaliers. Yeah, that ball held up there for a second. I thought the Mavericks had a shot at it, but he was able to come back and high point that ball. Yeah, Dunbar at 6'4". Made a nice play on that ball. It did hang up in the air for a bit. First and goal, or they will call it first and 10, maybe just outside the 10-yard line. Yeah, they put the put the markers down, so I think it's going to be first and goal officially. Okay. Vandal under center, hands to Ag. Ag bounces off the middle tackler and bounces to the left side and picks up a few. Yeah, good second effort there from Ag. He was stopped at the line and found a little bit of a crease to the left side. Picked up. Uh, looks like they're going to give him credit on three. 
Three yards to the seven. Second and goal with the seven, and that is going to bring us to the end of the third quarter. It's been a defensive battle here in Linside. James Monroe and Greenboro West tied at seven. We'll come back and have second and goal for the Cavaliers. This is Boomer Yancey and Brandon Baker on the Greenbrier Valley Channel Sports Network. Adventure takes you here. But much of it starts right here in West Virginia, where Toyota has lived alongside hardworking West Virginians for over 25 years, investing over $2 billion in the Buffalo manufacturing plant and bringing in over 2,000 jobs. And that helps fuel the local economy. Thanks for making Toyota the number one selling brand in West Virginia. See your dealer and start your adventure today. Toyota, let's go places. Radon Medical Center is located in the heart of our name and has provided quality health care to our community for over 45 years. We offer medical, dental, pediatrics, pharmacy, behavioral health therapy, x-ray, mammography, diabetes education, and on-site lab services. We accept most insurance plans and offer a sliding fee scale for qualifying patients. Make us your family's medical home and let us care for you. Reno Medical Center, excellent health care right at home. Wood Pool Services is now offering layaway just in time for the holidays. 10% down and no interest on any pool, spa, stoves, and necessities. This holiday, make your dream a reality. Wood Pool Services on Stafford Drive next to Roses in Princeton, West Virginia. Western Auto in... So while we're away, Greenbrier West scores... A touchdown, Hayden Ridgeway for the extra point. Kick up and good. Greenbrier West takes a 14-7 lead. Yeah, quick back. We're trying to get through some commercials there, and they were able to take that snap and get right in. Greenbrier West 14, James Monroe 7, 6 seconds into the fourth and final quarter. So momentum right now with the Cavaliers, but as we've seen all through the night, it can be taken back by James Monroe quickly. Yeah, that was a seven-yard touchdown run from Ethan Holiday. Yeah, Holiday just continues his big-time game tonight. Ridgeway back to kick it off for Greenbrier West. Line drive kick taken at about the, well, the play's blown dead. Ref coming in, wanting the football, blowing his whistle. Yeah, I'm not sure what they've got. I don't see any flags. They may just have uh, not been ready to go. Yeah, yet. may have just been kicked it a little too quickly. <laughs> All right, so we'll spot this up and try it again. Fourteen seven Cavaliers. Ridgeway's kick. Another hard line drive kick taken at about the twenty four yard line and it's gonna fall on it right there. That was Brock Parker. Just decided to rather than risk trying to pick it up and take it off, just fall on it and start from there. Yeah, live ball. you got to make sure nobody else gets it. So just dive on it right there and uh, and let the offense take it. This is Leighton Dowdy in the Maverick offense. Trots back on the football field. Say that our scoreboard tonight sponsored by Masters Mech and Tech and Used Cars. Maverick, 
James Monroe will have first and 10. So about their own 24. They break the huddle and are ready to go. Dowdy under center. Tight formation for the Mavericks. He's going to turn and hand off to, I believe that's Ridgeway. Is that Ridgeway? Uh, Parker, Parker, I Parker. believe. Yeah. That is Parker, 40. Yeah, second effort by Parker. Able to pick up some yards. Good effort there from Brock Parker. He's going to pick up about six. On first downs, brings up second down and four for James and Rowe. Yeah, had contact on Parker almost right at the line, maybe a yard deep, and uh, just picked up the extra four or five on a second effort. Now Dowdy going to be in the shotgun. A couple receivers to his left, two to his right as well. Snap back, he looks to the right. Now he's rolling to the left, looking for something, and he throws to Ridgeway. Across the 30 to about the 32 or so. And we're going to get a targeting yep. here. Yep, that's a big and hit Ridgeway's to the head. down. Yeah, Ridgeway's down. He did not respond well to that hit. So we'll take a quick break as they look at Cooper Ridgeway, and we'll be right back to hopefully give an update on what's going on. This is Boomer Yancey and Brandon Baker on the Greenbrier Valley Channel Sports Network. Western Auto in Raynell is the solution for all of your automotive repair needs. We carry snow blowers, wood splitters, propane heaters, and a full line of Husqvarna saws, bars, and chains. And most importantly, service after the sale. We also carry Whirlpool washers and dryers, freezers, refrigerators, and hot water heaters. We have enjoyed serving our community for 48 years and support our Greenbrier West Cavaliers. was a targeting penalty on the Cavaliers. 15 yards added for James Monroe. They're going to have it at their own 47. Ref signals to start the clock. We're under 11 minutes to go here in the game. West up 14 to 7. Snap back to Dowdy. Looks over the middle and the ball. Good play there. Greenboro West number 51. C.W. Sturgill got his hand in there. May have even tapped it to the ground. Let's go bring up a second down and 10 for James Monroe. And it's like a timeout. Gonna get a Monroe. timeout, yes. Yeah, that's Ridgeway coming back onto the field. They're going to get a timeout to get him back in. So he saw him. He was on the receiving end of that targeting call a little bit earlier, and he was down on the field as he went to a break, came off. It's like he got checked and is cleared back into the game now. That's good news for him and for the Mavericks. Yeah, you can hear that Maverick uh, crowd <laughs> reacting when they saw him come back on. Yep. So we'll take a quick break. We'll be right back on the Green River Valley Channel Sports Network. Tri-County Trailers is moving locations. Beginning December 1st, we will be moving into our new location at 1141 Airport Road in Beaver. With more stock than ever, we have a trailer to fit all your needs. Whether you're hauling a lawnmower, a skid steer, or that steer to market, we'll have you covered. We also have a new larger facility to handle your service, repair, and parts needs. Financing options are available for a wide range of credit worthiness. A big thank you to all of our loyal customers who made this possible. See you there. So second and ten for James Monroe from their own 47. Dowdy gets a snap, gives a quick little handoff to Parker up the middle, and Parker breaks free and touchdown saving tackle right there from Potaker. 
but all the way to the Greenbrier West 41-yard line. Yeah, 12 yards yep. on the inside run. It, it was a really it's an inside kind of a counter handoff as the Dowdy comes one way and just hands back to the inside to Parker, and Parker finds a little bit of room in there, and it's a, some of the uh, best room that the Mavericks have found in the inside of that defense tonight. <laughs> A new set of downs, first and 10 at the West 41. Dowdy rolling back under pressure. Little screen pass is caught, and that's going to be a big loss of about five yards. Good tackle there by Holiday on Chaz Boggs. Two really talented players for each team right there, colliding with Holiday winning that battle. Yeah, trying to set up a screen to Boggs, but the defense is not buying it at all, and he had nowhere to go. We're going to call it a loss of three. Second down and 13. Dowdy going under center. Two backs behind him. He's going to pitch to Boggs around the right side. Boggs has a little bit of room, and he gets through and pushed out of bounds there by Greenbrier West number 10, Evan Vandal. Good little pickup there from Boggs. Yeah, able to get back past the initial line of scrimmage. It was a block by Cooper Ridgeway, a seal on the edge. It was able to let him get turned up and pick up those yardage. So the ball is at the Greenbrier West 40-yard line. Pickup of four there for Boggs, third down and nine. Snap back to Dowdy. He rolls to the left. He's under pressure yet again, and he's going down. Colton Dunbar ripped him down. Ball came out, but they're going to say that he was down. Good pressure there from Dunbar to get Dowdy to the ground and probably a punt situation coming up for the Mavericks. Yeah, if you keep that where it is and it's a fourth and nine, then I think you're really thinking about going for it, but mm -hmm. now backed up uh, to the 50-yard line. Lost about 10 at, yards. Yeah, you're looking at about a fourth and 18. I don't think... Uh, you're going to have any part of that. And the Mavericks have brought out Will Bogus to kick this one away. Yeah, oh, and he kicks it off the end of his foot and it just rolls. Yeah, I think uh, I think uh, one of the Cavaliers might have got a hand he on that. He may even. have. Yeah. Yes, it came out really slow straight away, and we've seen them coming after those punts all night, and that finally got to one. It's a big play there, and Trent Parker picks it up for the Cavaliers, and Greenboro West with big momentum right there and great starting field position here on this series. It'll be on the James Monroe length of 42. Ball back to Holiday. Holiday trying to get to the outside. He breaks free of a tackle. Still on his feet. Breaks free. And then it gets absolutely hammered by Chaz Boggs. Yeah, fought his way through for about eight yards there. Strong run from Holiday. Good run from Holiday. Big hit from Boggs. Pickup of officially seven yards. Second down and three. Coming up for the Cavaliers. 8.15 to go in the fourth quarter. Greenbrier West leads James Monroe. By seven, winner goes to the state championship game against Williamstown next weekend. Second and two. Holiday's back there in the Wildcat again. He gets it, finds a hole around the left side. Ethan Holiday, another first down run to about the 15 yard line, pushed out of bounds. Ethan Holiday is doing it all this evening for the Cavaliers. Yeah, just lining up in full power to the left side, have the three backs right up behind the line, and he's just going to catch the ball in that Wildcat and go straight behind them. He's getting back there again. Yeah, they're going to set up the same play here. Holiday gets it, just picking his way through for a couple there. Positive yardage is what the Cavaliers are looking for right now. Yeah, Brady Baker came through and stopped him there. Still picked up uh, to three or four there, it looks like. Yep, call it three. Second and seven for Greenbrier West. They're on about the 13-yard line, I believe. And 
And they're going to line it up here to the right side now. Back to the field end. Second seven. Holiday still in there in that Wildcat formation. Snap back to him. Right up the middle he goes. And Ethan Holiday plows forward. And Ethan Holiday, is he in? It looks like he is. Waiting on a signal. They put it on the scoreboard. Yep. Yep. He scored. Ethan Holiday, 13 yard touchdown run for Greenbrier West. As the Cavaliers take a 20 7 lead, Holiday had the touchdown run to make it 14 7. And now adds his second one here of the night. He's yeah. kind of done it all on both sides of the field. Yeah, and this play starts right at the beginning. If I can get you to back that up to the snap. We'll show a replay here after Ridgeway's extra point, which is no good. So it's going to stay 20-7, to 7, 6.55 left in the game. Greenbrier West with the lead. Yeah, you stop it right here. Just look at this, uh, this guard right here. You see 53 at the tackle right inside. How quick he gets off that ball, and he sets up the block. And they're going to go right in behind that line. Yep, Holiday's right here. He stretches the football right there. He gets over the line. Yeah, and he had that hand stretched out. I initially thought that ball had come out and was and was uh, bouncing, but then I saw his hand attached to it. From that angle, it was hard to see, but able to reach out and get that. So the Cavaliers set to kick off with Hayden Ridgeway leading by 13, seven, under seven minutes to go here in this game. If you're James Monroe, this feels like a huge drive that could either help extend your season or maybe end it. Yeah, it's uh, time to show up and do something right here because you're down to where you got to come out and get some points on the board. Little handoff to Ridgeway there. And he gets out to about the close to the 35 where James Monroe will start first down and 10. First and 10, James Monroe, 645 left in this game. Greenboro West leads 20 to 7 if you're just joining us. Huge drive coming here for the Mavericks. On their own 34 to start. Snap back to Dowdy. He's going to keep it around the left and get to about the 39 pickup of close to five yards there for Leighton Dowdy. There's a Cavalier down on the play. It was limping. I think that's Jacob Nutter, 51. Yeah, it is. He's going to be attended to. Sorry, that's Sturgill. C.W. Sturgill's 51. Hmm. Leading tackler for the Cavaliers at linebacker. Yeah, he's had a few big plays tonight. We hope C.W. Sturzel's okay. While they tend to him, we'll take a quick break. This is Boomer Yancey and Brandon Baker on the Greenbrier Valley Channel Sports Network. We'll be right back. At Tri-County Furniture, Flooring, Appliances, and Bedding in Covington, our 44,000-square-foot showroom is loaded with Black Friday deals. Now through November the 29th, save on the brand names you know and trust. Not only will you save, but you'll get up to 18 months in special financing on your appliance purchases and up to 36 months on furniture and bedding purchases when you use your Tri-County credit card. See store for details. But remember, limited quantities do apply, and when these items are gone, they're gone. At Tri-County, we'll also give you our best price and then give you additional savings with manufacturer's rebates for from Whirlpool, Maytag, Beko, Frigidaire, Electrolux, and Samsung. Save up to an additional $600. See store for details. And as always, at Tri-County, you get free electrical cords on your range and dryer purchases and free hoses on all washer purchases only at Tri-County Furniture, Flooring, Appliances, and Bedding, 131 North Maple Avenue in Covington, Virginia. Or shop online anytime at shoptricountyfurniture.com. Open Monday through Friday, 930 to 530. Saturdays, 930 to 3. Closed on Sunday. Happy holidays from Tri-County Furniture, Flooring, Appliances, and Bedding. Tri-County Trailers is moving locations. Beginning December 1st, we will be moving into our new location at 1141 Airport Road in Beaver. With more stock than ever, we have a trailer to fit all your needs. 
Whether you're hauling a lawnmower, a skid steer, or that steer to market, we'll have you covered. We also have a new larger facility to handle your service, repair, and parts needs. Financing options are available for a wide range of credit worthiness. A big thank you to all of our loyal customers who made this possible. See you there. So after the injury timeout, James Monroe facing a second down and six. 6.29 to go here in the game. Greenboro West leads James Monroe 20 to 7. Yeah, Sturgill able to walk off the field on his own power there. I think we'll see him back in this game soon. Yeah, that's good news. Throw across the middle for Dowdy. The ball is deflected off of Ridgeway and caught. Is that ball? That is Chaz Boggs. He's another one that's been everywhere in this game. Yeah, you see those balls pop up in the air over the middle, and you're thinking the defense is going to come down, and then there's a flag on the field. Yeah, flag down. Let's see if that play stands up. Looks like it's going to. I miss what the call was. Or if they've even made it yet. Oh, there it is. Pass, pass interference. interference. They decline that because the yep. uh, catch will actually be a little better further. for the offense. It's a good play there by Chaz Boggs. Staying alert, catching the tip pass. First down, James Monroe at the Greenbrier West 45. Approaching six minutes to go here in the contest. Winner to the state championship game to face Williamstown. Snap back to Dowdy. He's got a lot of time. Face a little bit of pressure there at the end. Throws incomplete right off of the hands. He's trying to get over there to Bailey Ridgeway. Bailey Ridgeway. And uh, just threw it a little bit outside of his frame, and Ridgeway couldn't get it. If he could have cracked that down, it wasn't a bad spot for the ball to be thrown. He gave him an avenue to the outside away from the defense, but just not able to bring it in. So that incompletion will bring up second and ten for James Monroe. Dowdy in the shotgun. A couple of receivers to each side. Now Ridgeway in motion. Dowdy fakes that way. He's under some pressure trying to squeak through. Almost did, but a good shoestring tackle there by Greenbrier West number 11, Moses Gray. First time we've caught his name tonight, but a good play there from Gray. Yeah, immediate pressure right from the middle, came from the middle linebacker position. I believe that was uh, Potticher who came through on the blitz. So they give Dowdy two yards on that play. I call it a yard, third down and nine. Coming up for James Monroe, big play right here. Snap back to Dowdy, and it's a high snap, and he has to retrieve it and jump on top of it. Going to be a big loss there and bring up a fourth and long. Colton Dunbar was back there. Trying to get that ball as well for Greenbrier West. Yeah, fourth and long, but you have five minutes ticking down here, and you're almost in a position where you're going to have to go for it. Yep. And I think Coach John Mustaine will do just that. Fourth down and 21, so a loss of 12 on that high snap. Yeah, and you're looking at that call sheet, and there aren't a lot of calls for fourth and 21, so you're going to have to come up with something you think can get down the field. Yep. Maybe try to hope for a pass interference or something as well. I call it actually fourth down and 19. Yeah, I think you're going to see six-man pressure here. Actually, they're going to back one off, bring five. And he's under pressure, and he goes down. That was Moses Gray again. Hadn't called his name all night, and then two, pretty much two consecutive plays, and Moses Gray making his impact for the Cavaliers. And that's a turnover on downs, and Greenbrier West is going to take the football over with 4.36 left here in the third quarter, leading 20-7. to Yeah, you had four-man uh, down linemen, and then you had two linebackers. Both had creeped up to show blitz. Uh, the left linebacker backed out into his own coverage, and you had uh, Gray come through, and he got there. Here's a play. Holiday uh, trying to get up the middle. Not much there. Good play by Ridgeway to bring him down. Yeah, so if you're Coach Vaughn right now, you're telling Holiday, wrap that ball yep, up with both hold hands. on to the ball. Cavaliers sticking with that Wildcat formation. I don't think Cole Vandal's hurt. This has just been working. Holiday 
gets the snap, goes to the left side, stumbles over a defender and falls forward for a couple. And this is doing, being effective at just running this clock down. Yeah. Yeah, the clock is Greenbrier West's friend and James Monroe's enemy right now. Yeah, take a minute here while they were calling the play in to remind everybody one last time, Toyota and your local West Virginia Toyota dealers are proud to be the official partner of the WVSSAC, sporting high school sports all across West Virginia. Visit buyatoyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. Cavaliers content to let this clock run as much as they can in absolutely no hurry. Holiday awaiting the snap. Comes back to him. It's low, but he fields it nicely and just falls forward. A couple more yards there for Holiday. He'll bring up fourth down for the Cavaliers. Yeah, Maverick's going to take the time out. from earlier, the tip up that Chaz Boggs was able to bring down. Good for a first down for the Mavericks. Later, a turnover on downs on this drive. He's giving the ball back to West. Yeah, that was a big play that could have swung some momentum, but didn't happen right there for the Mavericks. So if you're the Mavericks right now, you've got 250 on the clock. It's fourth down. You need to get a stop here, of course, but then you're going to have to look you're going to need a drive, and you're going to need an onside kick to be able to get back in this with two-possession game with under three minutes to go. Uphill fight for the Mavericks. If you're West, you're happy just ticking seconds off this clock right now. So fourth and nine. Cavaliers going to go for it. Holiday still back in that wildcat formation. And they're going <laughs> to they get just, movement along yeah. the defensive line. Yeah, they got him to jump with a hard count. Yeah, high school just coming across the line is all you need to do to draw the penalty. You don't have an opportunity to get back. And that's going to bring up a fourth and very short. Fourth down and one now for the Cavaliers, and we're going to get a timeout, looks like. Greenbrier West going to take one. We'll take a really quick one with them and be back here. Cavaliers 20, Mavericks 7, 250 left in the game. This is Boomer Yancey and Brandon Baker on the Greenbrier Valley Channel Sports Network. Radon Medical Center is located in the heart of Raynell and has provided quality health care to our community for over 45 years. We offer medical, dental, pediatrics, pharmacy, behavioral health therapy, x-ray, mammography, diabetes education, and on-site lab services. We accept most insurance plans and offer a sliding fee scale for qualifying patients. Make us your family's medical home and let us care for you. Reno Medical Center, excellent health care right at home. So fourth and one, Greenbrier West, Holiday in the Wildcats. Snap back to him. He goes ahead. He's got a first down. He's got more. Holiday jumps ahead. Good pick up there of about 10 or 11 yards. Ethan Holiday has just honestly done it all tonight for Greenbrier West. Yeah, and you can sense it right there. Holiday's wanting to get back up and run another play really quick, but if you're Coach Vaughn, you might be happy with just <laughs> running this thing down as far as you can and getting out of here. Yeah, he wants another touchdown. Yeah, they're going to slow this down a little bit and just run this clock down. A 
Snap back. Holiday's got it. And he leaps forward. Inside the 10 to about the 7 or 8. Yeah, still room down by the goal line for a first down. Cavaliers just letting this clock go. We're down to about a minute and a half to go. Snap back to Holiday. Holiday leaps the forward again close to the five-yard line. Mark down there. That was a second and seven play. This clock continuing to run in Greenbrier West. Honestly, I think it's starting to feel that they are possibly headed to Wheeling for the Super Six. Yeah, you can hear their crowd on that end really getting loud. Third down and four. Holiday's still out there in the Wildcat formation, but not in any hurry as we're now under a minute to go. Holiday gets a snap around the side. He steps into the end zone. Touchdown, Greenbrier West. And the Cavaliers are going to win this game, barring a unforeseen miracle on the Maverick side. Yeah, he came around that left side, had big room. I think he uh, didn't realize maybe how deep he had got. I think he was going to go down. Stopped there at the goal line and then just kind of fell on in. I thought for a second he was going to go down and just let the clock run out. You can see it here on the replay. He gets around the end, and he turns up, and he thinks about right here trying to put the brakes on, and then it's just, no, I can't stop. I'm in. (laughs) Three touchdowns. It be hard to turn down and get your third touchdown in this type of atmosphere and game. It's a good run by Holiday Greenbrier West. Like I said, most likely with 50 seconds or whatever there is left here, 47 seconds. Probably wrap this, this one up right there. Yeah, West is going to be looking ahead next week to uh, – Heading up to Wheeling to the Super Six and taking on that uh, powerhouse Williamstown team. There's no knows all about those guys. Faced them last year up there, and that is a tough team. But they're going to have a tough Southern West Virginia team coming up to face them. If Ethan Holiday plays like he has tonight, West will have a as good a chance as any. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you think another week is going to give uh, Jake Payton, right. Tucker Lilly a chance right. to get healthy and uh, get back into this game. Didn't have to uh, use them on offense any tonight. There's a kickoff. Going to fumble around there by James Renone. Eventually fall, fell on at the 39-yard line. So what, what does James Monroe have in the tank down 20 with 44 seconds? Well, you're going to have to stretch the field, uh, and they're just going to hand off to Ridgeway and see if he can get it going. You know, sometimes you get in those positions, you got to get down the field. You try uh, just a handoff, catch the defense sleeping. Pushed out of bounds there was Ridgeway. 39 seconds left. Yeah, looking at this West team, I believe, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, something around 17 seniors on this squad. That that sounds about right. Yeah, uh, it's the kind of team you need to make a championship run with. They're yep. going to have that opportunity, and that's what this game was, was a chance to see who was going to get an opportunity. And West came in here tonight, goes on the road, and is able to come in here and get a victory over this uh, Maverick team. Now, this Maverick team is pretty young, only about six seniors mm-hmm. on it. Exactly. So they'll probably be right back here again next year in this position. Yeah, and I don't think West is going to go too far away either. So this is the, like I said, this is a rivalry that's just going to continue on, and it's good for 
both schools to have this opportunity. Close by, relatively, right next door, county-wise, and, and uh, as much as both these teams can be good and go at it, it's just good for both schools and good for Southern West Virginia football. One more play for the Mavericks. It's a handoff to Chaz Boggs. Gets up the sideline, taken down, and Greenbrier West is headed to Wheeling for the Super 6. They will play Williamstown in the state championship game next weekend. What a win for James, for Greenbrier West, and what a game from James Monroe as well. Both played very well, and it was just a great atmosphere here this evening. Yeah, great atmosphere, great football, uh, defensive contest for, you know, three quarters, three and a half quarters probably, and just changed on a couple of momentum plays. Uh, turnovers played a big part in it and just being able to capitalize. So teams and coaches exchanging handshakes for the final time this year for James Monroe. Greenbar West moving on 27-7, to just a big-time performance. Ethan Holiday with, with a huge game. And like we said, both teams just, just played very well. Yeah, players and coaches that are very familiar with each other, a lot of respect goes back and forth between these two groups. And uh, James Monroe, sad tonight, but things to look forward to in the future for there. And you're going to wish Greenbrier West just all the luck as they head up to Wheeling next week. Right. Greenbrier West will have a lot of fans from this part of the state (laughs) next weekend. We'll be back and recap it, maybe have some stats and numbers for you when we get back. This is Boomer Yancey and Brandon Baker on the Greenbrier Valley Channel Sports Network. Raynaud Medical Center is located in the heart of Raynaud and has provided quality health care to our community for over 45 years. We offer medical, dental, pediatrics, pharmacy, behavioral health therapy, x-ray, mammography, diabetes education, and on-site lab services. We accept most insurance plans and offer a sliding fee scale for qualifying patients. Make us your family's medical home and let us care for you. Raynaud Medical Center. Excellent health care right at home. Woodpool Services is now offering layaway just in time for the holidays. 10% down and no interest on any pool, spa, stoves, and necessities. This holiday, make your dream a reality. Woodpool Services on Stafford Drive next to Roses in Princeton, West Virginia. Western Auto in Raynell is the solution for all of your automotive repair needs. We carry snow blowers, wood splitters, propane heaters, and a full line of Husqvarna saws, bars, and chains. And most importantly, service after the sale. We also carry Whirlpool washers and dryers, freezers, refrigerators, and hot water heaters. We have enjoyed serving our community for 48 years and support our Greenbrier West Cavaliers. At Tri-County Furniture, Flooring, Appliances, and Bedding in Covington, our 44,000 square foot showroom is loaded with Black Friday deals. Now through November the 29th, save on the brand names you know and trust. Not only will you save, but you'll get up to 18 months in special financing on your appliance purchases and up to 36 months on furniture and bedding purchases when you use your Tri-County credit card. See store for details. But remember, limited quantities do apply, and when these items are gone, they're gone. At Tri-County, we'll also give you our best price and then give you additional savings with manufacturer's rebates from Whirlpool, Maytag, Beko, Frigidaire, Electrolux, and Samsung. Save up to an additional $600. See store for details. And as always, at Tri-County, you get free electrical cords on your range and dryer purchases and free hoses on all washer purchases only at Tri-County Furniture, Flooring, Appliances, and Bedding, 131 North Maple Avenue in Covington, Virginia. Or shop online anytime at shoptricountyfurniture.com. Open Monday through Friday, 930 to 530. Saturdays, 930 to 3. Closed on Sunday. Happy holidays from Tri-County Furniture, Flooring, Appliances, and Bedding. Tri-County Trailers is moving locations. Beginning December 1st, we will be moving into our new location at 1141 Airport Road in Beaver. With more stock than ever, we have a trailer to fit all your needs. Whether you're hauling a lawnmower, a skid steer, or that steer to market, we'll have you covered. We also have a new larger facility to handle your service, repair, and parts needs. Financing options are available for a wide range of credit worthiness. A big thank you to all of our loyal customers who made this possible. See you there. Adventure takes you here, but much of it starts right here in West Virginia, where Toyota has lived alongside hardworking West Virginians for over 25 years, investing over $2 billion in the Buffalo manufacturing plant and bringing in over 2,000 jobs. And that helps fuel the local economy. 
Thanks for making Toyota the number one selling brand in West Virginia. See your dealer and start your adventure today. Toyota, let's go places. So the Greenbrier West Cavaliers are headed to Wheeling next weekend for the state championship game against Williamstown. We're going to tell you how it happened here real quick. There was no scoring in the first quarter tonight, 0-0 zero to zero after the first quarter. In the second quarter, the Cavaliers got a 60-yard touchdown run from, or catch and run from Isaac Agee to make it 7 to nothing with 10-27 left in the first half. The first half was about defense and turnovers. The Cavaliers had three turnovers in the first half able to overcome those, and James Monroe had a turnover themselves. In the third quarter, Brock Parker of James Monroe had a 15-yard interception return for a touchdown. It tied this game up at seven apiece. And in the fourth quarter, it was pretty much all Ethan Holiday. He went to the Wildcat, had a lot of good runs. He had a seven-yard touchdown run that made it 14-7. to He then had a 13-yard touchdown run that made it 20-7, to and he capped the scoring with a little touchdown run at the end where he stopped at the one yard line like he was wanting to go down and just decided to go ahead and step across and pick up his third touchdown run of the night and that's where we stand that was the game and Greenboro West a big win congratulations again to both teams they played very well as you see James Monroe on the screen right now going off their field for the last time this season but a big future for them and Boomer I think you got some numbers for us you go right ahead yeah you know if you're going to name an MVP for this game the only name that really sticks out is going to be Ethan Holiday. those three touchdowns you mentioned uh, not a lot of scoring like you said in the first half not a lot of stats happened we came in had a 76 yards on four receptions by Isaac Ag in the first half and it pretty much stayed right there for him as uh, the second half was really dominated by those couple of turnovers but the Mavericks not able to uh, make anybody really pay for those turnovers and another turnover gave the ball back and then it was the Ethan Holiday show after that as they went into that wildcat and the Mavericks didn't have an answer for it able to put three touchdowns on the board uh, from Holiday and that I mean that's your game right there just defensive battle but the uh, Cavaliers able to find something that worked for them toward the end of this game and exploit it. So yeah 27-7, to 7, Greenbrier West headed to the state championship game. Going to be a good one. They're going to have a lot of fans all over the state, especially from this part of the state, against Williamstown, who's just a traditional powerhouse year in and year out. We're going to go and thank our sponsors one more time for this season as they've been so great to us to bring this broadcast. Holiday Mechanical LLC, McClarney Insurance, Preston Fencing Union, Amanda Reed Photography, Greenbrier Environmental Group, Tri-County Furniture, Masters Mech and Tech and Used Cars, Western Auto, Price Gregory International, who has been absolutely wonderful to us and to the community, and they will continue to be, Mighty Shine Express Car Wash, Park Center Sporting Goods, Tri-County Trailers, Tom Johnson Caldwell Banker, Steve's Towing, S.J. Nehawk Lumber Company, the Bank of Monroe member FDIC, Woodpool Services, A Street Logging and Land Purchasing, Melissa Furrow Bog CPA, Sonia Fullen Realtor, Dutch Miller Beckley Auto Mall of Lewisburg, The Market at Sunfresh, Legacy and Lawn Equipment LLC, and Hurstman's Safety Products. So a big thank you one final time to all those sponsors who helped us bring these broadcasts and everybody tune in next weekend um, wherever you can watch the Greenboro West Cavaliers play Williamstown in the state championship game for class single A. It's been a heck of a year for them, and they're now 13-0 and on the season. James Monroe finishes at 10-2, and and like we've mentioned a couple times, a bright future for them and the Cavaliers, but the Cavaliers have one more here in 2023 before looking ahead too far. So anyway, for Boomer Yancey, Harry Vance, Paul Alshar, Joe Sharp, everybody behind the scenes here on the Greenbrier Valley Channel Sports Network, this is Brandon Baker, and we will see you again at some point in the future. Renown Medical Center is located in the heart of Renown and has provided quality health care to our community for over 45 years. We offer medical, dental, pediatrics, pharmacy, 
behavioral health therapy, x-ray, mammography, diabetes education, and on-site lab services. We accept most insurance plans and offer a sliding fee scale for qualifying patients. Make us your family's medical home and let us care for you. Reno Medical Center, excellent health care right at home. Wood Pool Services is now offering layaway just in time for the holidays. 10% down and no interest on any pool, spa, stoves, and necessities. This holiday, make your dream a reality. Wood Pool Services on Stafford Drive next to Roses in Princeton, West Virginia. Western Auto in Raynell is the solution for all of your automotive repair needs. We carry snow blowers, wood splitters, propane heaters, and a full line of Husqvarna saws, bars, and chains. And most importantly, service after the sale. We also carry Whirlpool washers and dryers, freezers, refrigerators, and hot water heaters. We have enjoyed serving our community for 48 years and support our Greenbrier West Cavaliers. At Tri-County Furniture, Flooring, Appliances, and Bedding in Covington, our 44,000-square-foot showroom is loaded with Black Friday deals. Now through November the 29th, save on the brand names you know and trust. Not only will you save, but you'll get up to 18 months in special financing on your appliance purchases and up to 36 months on furniture and bedding purchases when you use your Tri-County credit card. See store for details. But remember, limited quantities do apply, and when these items are gone, they're gone. At Tri-County, we'll also give you our best price and then give you additional savings with manufacturer's rebates from Whirlpool, Maytag, Beko, Frigidaire, Electrolux, and Samsung. Save up to an additional $600. See store for details. And as always, at Tri-County, you get free electrical cords on your range and dryer purchases and free hoses on all washer purchases only at Tri-County Furniture, Flooring, Appliances, and Bedding, 131 North Maple Avenue in Covington, Virginia. Or shop online anytime at shoptricountyfurniture.com. Open Monday through Friday, 930 to 530. Saturdays, 930 to 3. Closed on Sunday. Happy holidays from Tri-County Furniture, Flooring, Appliances, and Bedding. Tri-County Trailers is moving locations. Beginning December 1st, we will be moving into our new location at 1141 Airport Road in Beaver. With more stock than ever, we have a trailer to fit all your needs. Whether you're hauling a lawnmower, a skid steer, or that steer to market, we'll have you covered. We also have a new larger facility to handle your service, repair, and parts needs. Financing options are available for a wide range of credit worthiness. A big thank you to all of our loyal customers who made this possible. See you there. Adventure takes you here, but much of it starts right here in West Virginia, where Toyota has lived alongside hardworking West Virginians for over 25 years, investing over $2 billion in the Buffalo manufacturing plant and bringing in over 2,000 jobs. And that helps fuel the local economy. Thanks for making Toyota the number one selling brand in West Virginia. See your dealer and start your adventure today. Toyota, let's go places. 